Hello YouTube, in this video I'm going to show you the exact steps of how to get the Iron Ridge XR100 in my case uh, rails. I got my flash foot twos installed as you can see. I'm going to show you the exact steps of how to get the rails hooked and mounted on those uh, flashings. So um, every single step I'll show you. I'm going to get the rails up and line them up, put the bolts on and then show you all those steps. Here's one. Here is the second. You line them up right there. When you line them up, I've decided to install mine on the top side of the flashing. So the lineup right there so you place them like this slide the slide the bolts line up the bolts as much as you can and then place the bolts in these grooves one by one so i got the top and the bottom rack here i'll go grab the bolts and then show you how to slide them in so in my case i got six flashings Six bolts, three in every rail. Three on the side, three on the top rail. To do is get an approximate alignment of bowls so why not be exact but it's close enough um, and the idea here is to line them up so you can put one by one from the beginning to end of the rail and then get the middle ones so i'm going to slide the bolts over to the very end get my rail lined up the way i want it then slide the bolt into the groove of the flash having my rails go up to the edge. Uh, you don't want it to overlap the edge. That won't look very nice. I got my rail lined up. One. Close enough. Close enough. Okay, so what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna put the bolt in the flashing starting at the very end over there and then work my way back it's easier to do it that way um when they're not tight enough there's a lot of give so you can put them one by one or put the very end or the very first one and then line up the middle uh, either way it works but the, the idea is to get the bolts as close to the flashing as possible twist it over One. See, I'm going to slide this one over a little bit. This one is in. This one's not quite. So, we got two in. Whatever alignment, and there we go. So, it's worth noting that when you got them all lined up, you can still move the rail a little bit and make fine adjustments. You can. Perfect. So I got this lined up exactly the way I want it. So I'm going to go ahead and use a, just a regular drill. You have to get these bolts um, screwed in to about 250 inch pounds, which is 21 foot pounds. But to attach them, you're gonna use a regular 
rail here, screw them in. Uh, not too tight, because I'm going to use a torque wrench to get them to the right torque uh, per the manufacturer's specifications. So just push it, line them up. There you go. The first one, last one. And then the center one. Perfect. That was easy. Again, this is not the final attachment. This is just to get them um, onto the, the flashing. You have to use a torque wrench and get them installed and torqued to the right spec, which is 21 foot pounds or 250 inch pounds. I'll do the second rail. Okay, same thing. Got them lined up. First one in. Second. Being close enough here. Lift it gently. Line. And there you go. Once it's in, you can make fine tuning adjustments. Perfect. We got the top and the bottom rail lined up fairly well. You can see right there. So, same thing. Screw them on. Screw them on. Not too tight. Uh, torque them later. Perfect. One thing I do want to mention is when you remember in our other video. When installing the flashings, remember I said you gotta line up the holes on the chalk line perfectly horizontal as close as possible. So when you install the rails, they line up um, perfectly. One thing it's worth mentioning is there is enough of a give on these flashings. So when you actually install the rail, um, the the attachment itself can move enough for a little bit to line up with the rail and make it straight. But it's very important that you get, um, um, you get the aligning of the uh, drill or the holes in the roof on that same horizontal line so the rail can go on and attach to the flashing uh, fairly nicely. Enough of a give in the flashing itself, but I'm talking maybe within a quarter inch or so. But um, not enough to, uh, you don't want it to be off. You don't want the rail to be bent or anything like that. That would just completely destroy your roof. So you don't want to do that. So lining up the holes in the roof on a horizontal line is really key to making this thing uh, successful. So I got my rails attached, not quite screwed to the right torque yet. This video is to show you how to attach the XR100 rails um, and torque them to the right manufacturer's specs. So specifications for the XR100 um, called for 250 inch pounds, which is 21 foot pounds. So I have a torque wrench right here. Um, it's an electronic torque wrench, uh, really nice tool. Highly recommend you invest in getting something like this. It'll make a project like this for solar PV installation much easier to uh, to do. So you tune in the settings. So I got 21 foot pounds right there. And then um, like I showed in some other another video, um, I have these attached, but not torqued all the way through. So I'm gonna go ahead, show you how this works. Notice how I, as I torque it down, you can see it's telling me what my torque is. It keeps increasing. I have to use a whole lot of force. That's 17.8. Beeps because I'm getting close. There is my 21.3. So close enough 
that's as far as you can go. Now this is torqued to the right um, specifications, which is 250 inch pounds, which is 21 foot pounds.